at some point I used to be able to read 700 pages in a day now I can barely read like one page where has my reading speed gone I think I just went with puberty so today we are discussing two books I read recently one I'm still reading this one and one I finished about a week ago so this is the fifth season by NK Jamison and this is Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. Now, as you can see in the title, I'm discussing the differences of how men and women approach world building based on these two books. And before we get into it, I want to just give some disclaimers. One, this is a fantasy book and this is a sci-fi book. I am aware, but they still are building a world that does not exist today using imagery and other devices, so I'm still going with it. Secondly, I know they don't represent their entire genders. There are women who will write fantasy worlds that are more like Marlon James' book. There are men who will write fantasy worlds that are more like N.K. Jamisid. And lastly, I'm not pitting these books against each other. I like both of them. I'm not saying at the end of it, ah, oh, you should read fantasy by men or you should read sci-fi by women. I'm just trying to bring out the differences of how these two writers went about world building. Okay, cool. Let's let's just get into it. So what I'll first do is just try and briefly describe what these books are about. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin is the first in her Broken Earth trilogy and it's about a world that is about 3,000 years in the future. Our current world ended because of huh, climate change, yay! And basically all the land masses on Earth, like there was like earthquakes and everything and they all disappeared and there's just this one small land mass left called the stillness and also a part of humanity either evolved or something to become or to be able to manipulate the earth and cause earthquakes and volcanoes and these people are called origins and they are both feared and reviled in this society but they are necessary because even that landmass the stillness the one that's remaining often has earthquakes and these sort of events called seasons hence the fifth season and a fifth season is when such an eruption occurs either volcanic eruption or some sort of ash shaking thing happens and there's like ash in the sky and it's winter for like several years and those events are called fifth seasons and they happen every few centuries and so we follow three perspectives in the book and the main perspective is a woman called Esun who has lost her son she's an origin who married a normal man the normal people are called stills because of the stillness i guess so she just married a still and her hid from him the fact that she is an origin and was trying to just move on with her life and we follow her journey as she looks for her son a fifth season event has just begun marlon james book is about a hunter called Chaka who has a nose and this guy's writing is very interesting he's really good at imagery it's set in an ancient africa there's a lot of witches and sort of juju stuff and like ghosts and mermaids and just a lot of cool things i really like the concept of this book if it's ever made into a series or movie if they don't mess it up it could be really good for the screen but basically we follow him as he is looking for a mysterious boy and he gets some companions along the way as he's looking for this boy and one of them is like, like a leopard who can turn into a man or a man who can turn into a leopard so i'll just touch on about three things i noticed um when reading both their books about how they came about building these different worlds the first thing is how they went about telling the reader or showing the reader that this is a very cutthroat world and it's very dangerous, it's very dystopian, just a very unpleasant place to be from the perspective of people who live right now. Though one could argue we are also living in a dystopia. The point is that there's much more outward violence in these books and they both went about showing that in different ways. For N.K. Jemisin, it was always very subtle and very, not subtle, but there wasn't a lot of outward violence. There was violence, but not a lot of it. I mean, for a book that is almost 500 pages, there's very few cases where there's 
there's actual on-screen, on-page violence. A lot of people remember things and refer to things that happened in the past. While for Marlon James in Black Leopard Red Wolf, it's more outward. There's a lot of killing. I've just read a quarter of the book and almost every page, someone is dying, being stabbed or just experiencing some sort of injury which is much more cursing there's cursing in fifth season but there's like exponentially more like i've just read a, a quarter of the book but there's already more cursing in that hundred pages than there is in the fifth season and also something i've seen a lot when i was looking at reviews is a lot of people just dnf'd this this book because of that the, the amount of violence and there's also a lot of assault referenced here now i'm not arguing about whether that's a good thing or a bad thing it just depends on your point of view honestly and your worldview so i do understand the people who dnf'd it um it's quite something it's very visceral yeah that's the word another thing is one thing i noticed when reading jamison's book is there's much more women i think i'm just used to especially in fantasy books any position of power is going to be a man almost every position it should be noted that she still references a lot of like the origins are being bred like they are specifically bred to be stronger so that they can have stronger kids and therefore help the state more when things like the fifth season happen but despite that it was balanced with the fact that there were a lot of times when people were referenced and i'm thinking this is the way i'm automatically thinking of this person is that they are male and then she is said somewhere and i'm like oh wait i didn't think that was going to be a woman and that's also just my condition probably to not expect it but it was just a very very pleasant surprise within the book Marlon James um, so far but it's just the normal gender balances going on in his book like any other fantasy I mean there are still powerful women referenced in here but there's a lot of subservience the normal subservience we get from female characters which is fine again he's building his own story and doing his own thing which is fine and i still like the book now the last thing i'm going to talk about is the relationships one thing i'll say is that these books are both very diverse they're both they both did representation very well there's a lot of reference to people of different sexualities and different genders however how they went about building the relationships was quite interesting because of the violence in this book the relationships are also very violent between fathers and sons between husbands and wives between children and their parents between chiefs and their people or kings and their kingdom it is all very violent and in it any time a relationship is referenced there has to be something nasty that is sprinkled in there like i was just like okay is not even one single person happy in this book i get that he's using that still as a device to show the violence that the world this world has even the people who are who are in good relationships it's still sprinkled with some violence on the other hand the fifth season by nk jemisin really shows a broad range of the different types of relationships that are still be able to be formed in this violent world as soon the main character we follow has experienced many different types of relationships in her life and they're all variations they're on the spectrum of being violent being loving being just all over the place which is real life i mean not everything is linear not everything can be the same that somehow didn't detract from the violence of the world or the dystopianess of the world but i really love both these books honestly and k jamisin recently tweeted that all her books are being adapted to either tv or screen so we are going to be seeing this on screen at some point we'll see how that works out one thing i'll say is that they both really used imagery well 100 percent big take in showing what they were trying to show and they did a lot of showing instead of telling which yes that's that's what's meant to happen there are both worlds that i wouldn't want to be in i wouldn't want to go there personally because there's a lot but i still really enjoy reading them something else i wanted to mention is that these books really use perspective in interesting ways in the fifth season one of the three perspectives we follow is Esun, and it's done in second person and i almost fainted because i hate second person or i used to until this book changed my mind it was such an interesting way of being referenced so second person is when the writer says you like you the reader 
and the person so you looked at him and I rolled your eyes or you you turned away you opened the door and it's you and it's just like wait please don't insert me in this madness but it really worked out and then Malone James, I don't know whether his is also second person, but the reader is a person in the book who is referred to interchangeably as the priest or the inquisitor, someone who is questioning it. It's like you're the person who is asking him for his life story, something of the sort. And I think that, I don't know whether that's second person or not, but at times, Chaka, who is the main perspective we're following, breaks the fourth wall and talks to you. And I was just like, please, even more than the fifth season, I don't want to be in this book. So I was like, don't even include me in your madness i just thought i'd mention that they really used perspectives interestingly this is the third week ish of the african fantasy and sci-fi readathon next week i'll be focusing on short stories and comics and that's what my video will be about hopefully i'm still trying to really do this video every week this month thing so good luck to me but i hope you guys are reading i hope the list is proving useful and i'll see you next time